and welcome to Europe. A numerous amount of semi-aquatic snake species can be found throughout the continent's water systems. These are some of the most remarkable species of snake in the entire world. My name is LB and on this adventure I will introduce you to a true water snake. But first, have a go at this. Well, have a look at this. This right here is a snake shed and um, I can tell this right here is actually a shed of a European viper. A common snake found across Europe and um, you can see why I would believe it's actually a European viper. First of all, the length, it's very short but stout. Look at the stout body, very typical for viper species. And then you also have the cloaca there, very short tail. And very remarkable and unique is the markings on the dorsal scales here. So it's like a cross, 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 cross. So in Germany translated, we call it the cross adder because of that pattern on its dorsal scales. And that's actually not even the full size. So they get slightly bigger than this. And um, they're a venomous snake species. Not a water snake that we're after, but uh, pretty cool. Bring it up on land, so you can see it here. Check this out. Got to focus on it. Beautiful. Look at this one. It's a thigh snake. Wow. Now this right here is a water specialist. This is a true water snake, and it is actually a fish catcher. It's a perfect fish catcher. And look at the head. It's a wall-looking head, triangular shape with a very long snout. Perfect for catching fish. And look at the eyes. They're just absolutely wall-looking. You see that? What looking eyes. Ooh. And if you look close, you can also see what I call it, the dice snake. Look at the pattern. It's really dark on this specimen here, but you can see that it's like black, not so black. Black, not so black. And it goes all across the snake. And that's what I call it, the dice snake. Now, unfortunately though, these snakes um, are pretty endangered throughout uh, most of its range. But in fact, it can be found on three continents. So that would be Asia, Africa, and of course, Europe. But because of habitat destruction, unfortunately, um, the species is pretty endangered um, in most of its range. And as you can see, this snake right here is absolutely uninclined to bite. It's absolutely calm, poses no threat to anybody at all. Um, and even if they do bite, basically just hurts a little bit, has no effect on us. Um, and it was a little bit um, defensive when I first caught it out of the water, obviously. But now, as you can see, it settled down nicely. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to do is, um, I can't let it go here because it will disappear so quick. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the water and you're gonna see how quick it will just cut through the water. It's just lightning and it will go off on its way. So we can just put it in here and look at the color. Look at the coloration of the snake. It is perfectly adapted for camouflaging in this environment here. Check this out. Look at the color. You will not even be able to see the snake from above, all right? And this snake can actually hold its breath for 30, sec uh, for 30 minutes, that is, for one time. Look at the head. It's just sticking out of the water, looking around what's going on. Perfect specimen right here. Beautiful snake. The water snake. <laughs> 